bales are loaded onto the conveyor table by a forklift. Here the packing wires are cut open and manually removed. The operator activates the conveyor belt, which moves the bales into the debaling drums. There the pressed bales are divided into their single pieces. The drum housing is designed as a screen, so that fines and dirt can already be removed at this stage of the process. The loose waste coming out of the debaling drum is checked by special staff and foreign bodies and strange contamination are immediately picked out. The head roll of the inclined conveyor belt is designed as a permanent magnet in order to sort out all ferromagnetic foreign bodies. In the single shaft shredder the material is size reduced in a coarse way. This is done by the hydraulically operated ram pushing the material to the rotor where it's grasped and cut into rough pieces. The pre-shredded material is discharged onto a conveyor belt and conveyed into a hairbolt high-speed shredder. In the hairbolt high-speed shredder the material is size reduced and water is added. During the size reduction process it's washed thoroughly at the same time. The material coming out of the hairbolt high-speed shredder is separated from the dirty water. The material enters the separation tank and fresh water is added. Floating and sinking particles are separated. The floating particles are conveyed along the container surface with the aid of paddle rollers and are submerged several times in order to wet them thoroughly. They are flushed out of the tank by discharge rollers. The sinking particles, which can be found over the entire length of the tank, are raised above the water level by a trough scraper and discharged into a collecting container. The floating particles from the separation tank are preliminarily dewatered with a conveying screw and afterwards cleaned from dirt, paper fibers, polystyrene foam, etc. in an intensive washer by adding fresh water. The cleaning procedure with a washing screw and an intensive washer is repeated once again in order to obtain an extremely high quality of the final product. A pneumatic conveyor transports the cleaned product into a second drying unit. Here the material is mixed with hot air. The humid air is evacuated by a cyclone. In a follow-up granulator the product is size reduced to the desired final fineness and conveyed into storage silos with the help of a blower. In the storage silos the final product is homogenized by mixing it before any subsequent treatment. The whole plant is centrally controlled by a programmable logic controller.